Well, the year gone by witnessed one of the most visceral, raw and poignant moments in the 21st century where women took to the streets against oppression of the regime. The protests and the images reverberated across the world with women fighting for a right over their own bodies. This year, the Norway Nobel Committee has awarded the Nobel Peace Prize to one such woman who fought for rights for women in her homeland. The Nobel Peace Prize 2023 has been awarded to Iranian activist Nargis Momadi, who has faced the wrath of Iran's oppressive morality police multiple times but refused to give up. In an official statement, the Academy said her brave struggle has come up with tremendous personal costs. Altogether, the regime has arrested her 13 times, convicted her five times and sentenced her to a total of 31 years in prison and 154 lashes. She is now serving multiple sentences at a prison in Tehran for charges that include spreading propaganda against the state, reports suggest. Let me take that across to my colleague Shreya joining me from the newsroom. Shreya, good evening. As far as we speak about this, it's not just laudable, but the story is truly inspiring as well. Absolutely, Nivedna. Good evening to you and to all our viewers who are watching this broadcast. Uh, you know, this, uh, before I get into the details of what and who Nargis Mohammadi is, let me first tell you that as we speak, she's still in prison as this Nobel Peace Prize has been awarded to her. She remains in captivity of the Iranian regime and that's exactly what the Nobel Prize Committee wanted to honor and wanted to highlight and wanted to emphasize upon the fact that Iranian women are going through so much. Uh, they are protesting against the regime there and Nargis Mohammadi is a face of that. She's an activist, she's a feminist rights champion and for long she has worked towards the empowerment of Iranian women. Uh, remember Nivedna last year, exactly one year ago we saw the death of Mahasa Amini, a young Kurdish woman who died in custody after she was arrested by the morality police of the Iranian regime for not wearing the hijab as per the rules and the guidelines of the Iranian regime. And, uh, you know, women like Nargis Mohammadi have stepped up, they have come forward and protested not just this, but also the fact uh, that there should be no use of death penalty. Now, talking about Nargis Mohammadi, you know, as the Nobel Peace Prize Committee said that this brave struggle of hers has come at a very personal cost. Uh, you know, she has been arrested, like you said, several times, convicted five times. Uh, 31 years of prison has been sentenced to her and 154 lashes as well in Iran. Uh, but apart from that, she's been the voice of women's rights. She has been a champion of speaking against the measures that are taken against Iran. Iranian women, whether it's political measures, economic measures or social measures. And Nargis Mohammadi has been a vocal supporter of the empowerment of women. And talking about her personal life, her husband and her two children are in France. They stay in exile. And while she is in captivity right now, remember Nivedna, she has not been able to speak to her children, even speak or hear their voices since the past one and a half year. That's the kind of situation that we are seeing for women who are speaking against the Iranian regime. And uh, the Nobel Peace Prize Committee has said that hopefully when in December the ceremony for uh, the awardees happens, we will see Nargis Mohammadi out of prison and in person. But whether or not that happens, we'll have to see. But remember, this is an honor for all those Iranian women and girls who have been fighting against the strict measures taken by by the Iranian regime, the oppression that they allege that the Iranian government has done. In fact, last year as well, we saw in 2022, after Mahasa Amini's death, one of the most Shreya, intense as put, and largest... As you've got as all those details, you rightly put that as well.